Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to the Makeup Breakup. This is a series where we destroy makeup. Subscribe if you want to see more. Welcome back guys. Today we are taking a look at another concealer. So we did a concealer last week and it reminded us that we have been wanting to take a closer look at the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. So this is a concealer that has uh, basically, it's kind of like an airless pump, but it's an airless clicker and it has a sponge applicator. Now there are two types of people who use this product. There is a sponge person and there is a non-sponge person. I'm a non-sponge person. So am I. What we do is we like to pull the sponge off the applicator before we use this and then just click it out of the tube and use it like a normal concealer and some people like to actually use the sponge applicator to apply the concealer now it doesn't matter what sort of person you are it's up to you whatever you like but we are curious to see how much product is lost in the sponge so that's what we're going to take a look at today to find out how much product is lost in the sponge when using this product, what we're going to do is take the sponge off one of our concealers and we are going to click it all out onto a weight or a scale and uh, we're going to see how much product we can get out. Then we're going to take the other one and we're not going to remove the sponge but we're going to do the same thing. Click it all out onto a scale and see how much product we get. Alright, we're going to start with our non-sponge. Let's do this. Oh, I love this noise. It's good, isn't it? Come on out, buddy. I know, it takes a while. There we hey. go. We got our first nugget. For reference, these are six mil concealers, but we're not checking mils. But if you are curious about how much is in there, it's six mils. Can we pause for one second? Sure. I just wanted to show that how these work as like airless pumps. So as you twist it like so, it pushes a little platform down the tube here. So you can see this platform, it's just here, it's pushing it down, but in the center, there is a tube, so it pushes the product down and up the tube. It's kind of cool. It is cool. And look at how clean it is on the edges. Look at that. I know. It's beautiful. That is a Project Panda's dream. That's true. You can mark Isn't it. Isn't it? Oh. You don't even have to mark Oh Well, yeah, you can mark it or yeah. you can take photos of it as you're using it. Great. I love it. It's beautiful. I want to pan one. Brings me great joy. I have panned one of these. They're, next, next concealer. They're quite easy to pan. And it's a great concealer. I love this one. How many clicks? 20,000. <laughs> yeah, for reference, we didn't do how many clicks because this doesn't come out yeah. super evenly Exactly. Either. And you can hear like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Like that. Hundreds, thousands, thousands of clicks. That's how many. Oh, we're almost at the end. Can we see this? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. We're getting there. And she's done. Another beautiful thing about these concealers and this sort of packaging really is the fact that you really do get All almost product. every single skerrick of product in there, which is fantastic. Not sponsored. No. I wish it was. Pay <laughs> us. <laughs> so we have our scale sitting at 5.91 grams of product. Now we're going to grab our sponge concealer and see... How easy it is to get that much product out. Let's do it. All right. I think it's starting to come out. Oh. Here, yeah, I can see it. Look at it go. Scoopy. Oh. 
It looks so creepy. You don't goop quite as nicely, do you, love? You might have to smear someone. I know. Oh, <laughs> what's oh. happening? It's not happening. It's, it's, not, it's not great. Oh, it's even coming out the... Look. Yeah. Look, this is not... This is why I don't like the sponge. <laughs> Squish some out to help the sponge. Ugh. Yeah. I don't see how to. Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. It's having a time. Oh. It kind of looks like soft serve ice cream. It does. All right. She's empty. But we need to get that off the sponge. She's stuck on the sponge. Ugh. Okay, it just keeps sticking. So we've got about 5.80 grams out of there, or not about, it's 5.80 grams, uh, which means we've got 0.11 or 0.11 grams still in the sponge. It's actually and not that much. It's not that much. It's, it's not. All right. So the sponge does hold on to a little bit of product, which isn't surprising. We did expect that. It's not as much as we thought it would be though, which is fantastic. Taking the sponge off is probably a bit more of a sanitary way of using the product over a long period of time, but we know people love their sponges. So you do what makes you happy. Yeah, and it really doesn't penalize you because it's only a fraction of a gram that you're yeah. missing out on. So yeah, easy there you peasy. Go. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode of The Makeup Breakup. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we're going to see you in the next one. Bye.